push the logo for some few seconds. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> That's really awesome. Hey, it's JB Tech T. What's going on, everybody? And I'm here for Charge.io with Volkswagen with Christian Singer. It is. Right. I want to make sure I pronounce it correctly. <laughs> uh, much of the audio will be coming from Christian here as he tells us about the ID, which we're actually sitting in right now. Yeah, the um, Volkswagen ID is the first version of our new MEB vehicle. MEB is our Modular Electric uh, Drivetrain Kit. That means it's a new, completely new architecture for pure electric cars. So it combines um, pure electric drivetrain with a huge battery, also with a step in electronics. So it's more or less a tablet on wheels. And it's a holistic approach, yeah? and not just only a car without a tailpipe. Mm. And this is the big difference what's going on in the market. This car will be a success by its own. Uh, it seems like cars of the future, as we call them, or uh, electric vehicles, at least now, happen to have a certain design language to them. What, what, what actually inspires the design of cars like this? Because they look radically different from cars that we mm -hmm. usually see on the road. Uh, so how would you explain the, the inspiration behind the design of a car like this? Our belief is really good design comes when it combines natural physics with a good uh, shape of the body. And this is true for the ID. Once you put a huge battery on the safest place of the car, it's between the wheels and the bottom. Okay. Uh, so you have a long wheelbase. And once you have no engine compartment, you get short overhangs. Okay. And this makes the cars looking more like a go-kart. Mm -hmm. yeah? And you create this really long interior space. This Actually, have you have, so you have interior there. space yeah. like a Passat in a golf class. Yeah? So really uh, more than you have in a, in a conventional car. We as Volkswagen, uh, we want to have solutions for everybody. So we are starting with uh, semi-automated driving and we can scale up to full, fully automated driving. So we have prepared the vehicle architecture for several sensor setups. Uh, we have lots of sensors already uh, in series production uh, in 2020 and we can add laser sensors on okay. rooftop as you have seen. We have cameras, we have radars and many other sensors we need in, in circumstances. Okay. The uh, projection so far is to have, if I remember correctly, uh, a regular EV version of this car in 2020. Right. Okay. Uh, but the autonomous vehicle version will be out in 2025. Is that the... Uh, That's a, a good number. Oh, rough. Okay. Yeah. Um, what would you say are the main hurdles to creating an autonomous vehicle? Is it more like infrastructure in particular cities or is, are there any... any any pitfalls so far to having EV and autonomous vehicles now, especially in this day and age? First of all, the combination of EV and autonomous is a perfect one because you have this energy on board, it's pure electric, uh, you have, there are no restrictions for going inside the cities in the future. Okay. Um, what are the hurdles in uh, being autonomous? Um, it's mainly a software task okay. uh, to interpret this uh, environment <coughs> in the right way to always stay in a safe condition and especially in inner cities it's tremendous complicated okay. to understand the environment what are we doing yes we are improving our capabilities in software uh, the sensors are permanent improved we are adding more sensors to get a clearer information okay. and we add uh, high density informations from the digital map. Okay. Yeah. We are working together with Nokia, with, with here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we invested and this helps creating a crowdfunded high precision digital map. Okay. Uh, and this will grow over time and will improve the information. Okay. Yeah, we, um, please let me stay in the uh, European numbers. Okay, uh, we, will start, yeah. we will start at 400 kilometers electric range. Yeah, and we will scale up then 500 and 600 kilometers. 600 is our uh, 373 miles, okay. uh, just uh, to compare. And uh, the 400 kilometers version will start at the diesel price point. Oh, okay. All right. So, very affordable. Mm -hmm. yeah. We want to be the first car in the family. Yeah. And people can increase the capabilities of the car mm -hmm. like they are used 
today by the um, normal cars. Oh, okay, wonderful. Uh, I guess my final question then. Uh, so again, as a proud owner of a GTI, <laughs> and I absolutely love driving that car, do you see uh, EV vehicles, or electric vehicles rather, do you see electric vehicles moving into the performance space? Could we ever see, say, a Jetta version of an ID, or something that's inspired by the ID, or even a GTI that has these kinds of technology? The answer is clearly yes. <laughs> <laughs> E-mobility will make fun in the future too. Yes. Yeah? Uh, Volkswagen e-mobility will have rear axle drive. Mm. So we have no limitation in traction. Okay. We have a perfect weight distribution in our cars. And we will scale up the performance uh, by time uh, and with your uh, willingness to pay. Uh. So there's no reason <laughs> not having fun in an electric car. Oh, well, that sounds great. And I want to thank you again for spending some time with us. And uh, if you're seeing the footage right now, the inside of this car is definitely something of the future. So hopefully within the next, I mean, it's 2017 now. And at least the next few years, we're probably going to have something like this. Thanks to people like Volkswagen. So uh, keep it tuned to Android Authority and Charge.io, all of our properties for even more from CES 2017. And make sure you stay tuned for even more for things like the ID here at Volkswagen.